Something like this, that, you know, rather than reading from a text, but someone who just makes it so exciting. I thought it was amazing and that Carlos did a great job. I learned more about Philippine history in one and a half hours with Carlos than 12 years of history lessons in Manila. It was presented in such a way that really resonated with me. I don't think I missed out on anything, whether it was here or in Manila, because it was the same effect. I mean, the pictures helped and everything, but the feeling, I guess, was the same. I, I think it had the, would have the same effect on me whether I was in Manila or not. It's these things that it's not so much, you know, books are always available, but uh, it's when someone actually comes and actually makes you so excited. There's a huge Filipino community out there that's really proud to celebrate who they are and what they do, and there's a lot more to learn, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> Man, the energy of Vancouver is absolutely amazing, especially the Filipino community in Vancouver is especially amazing. How was it doing uh, the tour during the uh, Olymp uh, Stanley Cup game? How, how was it with all the cheering and all the fans and everything? <laughs> I'm sure you haven't experienced that before. It's a, it, it, was a hard, it was a hard energy to sort of work against. But it's nice to be part of a, a city that was victorious. And, and that energy translated itself into being a victorious tour as well. The my tour is only two hours long. Winning the Stanley Cup is forever. What really keeps me motivated for doing these tours is just the spirit of being Filipino. I mean, like, I am part of the diaspora. I am part of this identity that is having a very hard time finding its placement in the world. And the more that I meet other Filipinos who have the same experience, people who are trying to find an identity, people who are trying to find a position, trying to find a place in the sun, so to speak, it gives me energy. And hopefully that energy also goes back to them as well. I actually find that there is a commonality that happens between every city that I go. Because I really think that Manila in itself is an expression of what you are. If you do not find beauty in poetry in Manila, you will never find beauty in poetry anywhere. Well, we're going to be back here in 20, uh, late 2011 or early 2012 to do the Imelda tour. And hopefully the Imelda tour will be just as much of a hit as this one.